Cool. Well, well, we're here, I'm here, because I want to celebrate Anne Louise's birthday, and it's a big birthday, a big occasion. She's accomplished so much over the years, and I've been uh, with Anne Louise for 28 plus years, and it's been the, uh, quite a journey, and been a wonderful journey, been one of the best uh, parts of my life once I met Anne Louise, you know, it was, uh, it was like a whole different world for me, and I cherish every moment of it. And, the good, the, the times that were challenging, the times that, uh, you know, we just uh, just went off into the sunset at times and it was wonderful. So uh, we need to do that more. But, <laughs> but anyway, I, I'm so happy that uh, Anne Louise is what she's accomplished and I'm so excited about tonight the celebration and everything that, that Anne Louise has done to help so many people and, and make such a big difference in people's lives. So that's why we're here to celebrate not only her birthday, but her life, her accomplishments, and uh, everything she has done and everything she's going to be doing in the future. I've known her for 65 years, <laughs> my entire life. And um, I've had the opportunity, of course, not, not only to be joined as family, blood relations, uh, growing up in the family, taking the trips, being with mom and dad and um, family celebrations, but also I've had the privilege to work with her professionally for many years, for many decades. And I'd say one of the things, I could talk a lot, but one of the things that impresses me, is the, impresses me the most is at a time in her life when she could really kind of retire, she's instead chosen to refire. And she's really re, re, reinvented herself, and uh, with the wisdom that she has, she's been able to mentor a lot of, of the younger generation, the up-and-coming nutritionists, healthcare professionals. And that's been really a joy for me to watch. So I am the significant brother, James is the significant other. In the back of a 1963 Pontiac Safari drab green wagon owned by M's Bake Shops that smelled like donuts on a family vacation. And I believe it was there in 1963 that something happened that caused her to say, sugar is evil, and I'm gonna write a book called Get the Sugar Out Someday.